All right, I'm going to try and keep this quick because there's quite a lot of content to go through. Um, but this just arrived this morning. It's a Everrain board game from uh, Grimlord Games. It was a Kickstarter from I think it was about four years ago. So I'm glad it's finally arrived. Uh, I've been looking forward to it, and it's, uh, it's absolutely massive. I don't really have enough room to unbox it. Really, I don't can't even fit it in the in the camera or on this table. But I'll just have a quick look at what's inside the the big box, and then get onto all the expansion stuff. I didn't really know how much I was going to be getting with this. I'd kind of forgotten by the time I, um, by the time I arrived, I'd forgotten what I'd uh, pledged for. So I've taken all the plastic off just so it's a little bit faster. But it's got this rule book here. Just find a quick loop through it. It's going to take a while to get my head around all this. It looks like it's an interesting game. And then it's got the the fold out board as well as the neoprene mat, which I got as well. I didn't realise I was getting them. I think they must have just came with the. I think I got the Seafarer pledge and the Flood bundle. So it's got a bunch of tokens, and you can get metal versions of these on places like Wayland Games and stuff already. So it's got a bunch of a bunch of token sheets. Got some there. Uh, like every miniature has got its own uh, board as well. I think like the like character board thing there, like that. All the tiles and things, and then it's got the it's an enemy shipboard, and uh, it's an island exploration -y thing. Um, that's when you go ashore to port or something. It's pretty cool. And then the four ships or four boards for the four player ships, which also have got neoprene versions. So that's good. I guess there's just gonna have some spares. Right, and it's got all the all the miniatures. I'm hoping someone comes out with an insert that puts all the expansion content uh, in here as well, because it seems like a lot of empty space, really. So you've got all these, and the big boss, and then the, sh the ship models, which look really, really nice. So these four are different designs. These three are the same, or four are the same. But yeah, the quality is is uh, really good for just PVC or whatever it is they use. They're not all one piece, like you can tell. This one's two bits put together, but they look like they'll be very, very fun to paint up. A lot of nice detail on them. Um, they need to be uh, washed down a bit to get rid of any grease from the moulds or whatever for for it paint them up. Um, so things clip onto the bases for the bolts. That's the uh, stems for the where's the board gone? Already losing track of stuff. That's for these bits. So they go in these holes here. And some dice. A lot of different uh, dice packs came with this game, but they're nice quality custom engraved dice. So there's that pack of dice, this pack of dice, this pack of dice, and then this green D10. And then there was also these dice as well, I think. And these are the ones at the bottom of the box. I'm not sure what the difference is between... I don't know why these were just loose in the box. I'll need to look up what they were from. A bunch of cards I haven't opened and looked at yet. That's schematics for upgrading your ship. At the front anyway. Quick reference cards, that'll be handy. And that's uh, some those objective cards for the final boss. That's the trait cards, is it? For the for the models. And then a bunch of cards. But yeah, this would be a lot better if it had some sort of 
insert or just a bit more organization. Um, and I'll probably sleeve this as well. I don't think it's, it's a bit uh, a bit loose, but that's going backwards actually. Yeah, hopefully there'll be an insert of some kind. Just so that put this. Just you know, if, if you're playing the game and you're taking out every single model, it's going to be a pain in the ass putting them all back in. The quality of the quality of these ones as well is still really good. It'll paint up really well. The creepy fat ground guys. Right, there's too many things to, in here to go through. Um, there's quite a lot of duplicates there. These are all the same. These are all the same. I think, oh, yeah, you can tell it's uh, different colours, so it's uh, the grey is the uh, enemy miniatures, I guess, and the browny yellowy ones are clear miniatures. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the, the quality of the, the cast. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to pop these out just it's a bit easier just throwing everything back in and get some uh, some sort of bags or something to put all these uh, tokens in. And I guess I can put the board in storage or something. I'm using the neoprene one. Right. Oh man, this is a big box. I don't even know where I'm going to store it. Piece of plastic. Anyway, either way. All right. So this is the neoprene game board, which I'm just going to use as a background for this. Everything else. So I guess all the Kickstarter versions came with this, this mat, and also more mats. I didn't think I was going to be getting these. For some reason, I thought these were a separate upgrade, but so nice having them. Definitely the most I've ever gotten from a single Kickstarter at once. Right. The, the card ones are still actually pretty nice. Um, these are still nice, uh, luxurious upgrade though for the occasion. With the bitter end. Ivory sword. Got nice colours as well. Nice shades of uh, purples and blues, the Pariah and the Aberconway. That's yeah, seems like it's a nice quality mat, but stitched edges. It's a bit loose there, but uh, yeah, obviously the cards aren't going to lie across these nice and flat. So some people might actually prefer using just the, the carpet ones that come with the core box. Alright, uh, so there's tons of extra expansion boxes, which is very confusing because it's been so many years since I backed it. So I think it was I think these two were just expansion content bundled, or stretch goal content bundled into separate little expansions. So this one's just the cook models and some more dice. So uh, it says in the back, Kickstarter exclusive add-on. New type of special crew with cooks. Also contains some unique sea events and dining cards. And also some dice. So it's just the boards for the cooks. Obviously these pop out. And then you can see the traits showing through there. And then you put the gems here. And then there's a 
I think I pretty much got everything that, apart from the, the art book, and that, that comes with some cards as well. So. But they do look pretty close to the concept art that they showed you, which is good. A lot of these Kickstarter will show you uh, like resin minis, and then you'll get some absolute garbage in the end, and they've got nice sculpted bases. So there's male and female of the uh, most most models. We uh, need a uh, scrubbing to get rid of all the oily sheen. Oh, why is this one? This the only one that will sell it down. That's just some uh, story cards, I guess. I'm going to take all them out. And then some extra space. This was the second one that was um, stretch goal stuff because I know the gunners were. I think they, I thought they were stretch goal models. I don't know, what does it say? But this, it, well, that that seafarer box is the only one that said um, Kickstarter exclusive. So this one's got the master gunners, cultists, summoners, sea events, expedition, denizens. So there's quite a lot more in this one. Female gunners, right? These are cool models. This guy looks like an absolute beast. Kind of wish I'd gotten the art book, but just so I could uh, get an idea of how to paint these guys. Cause I like the whole like the style and the setting that they've gone for. With want to just be throwing random colours on these. So what's this, some sort of summoner, cultist guy. These are all just, uh, what's there, three of them. Lots of details still on that, which is going to be taking ages to paint all this actually. And then a few of these uh, demon spawns. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the detail on there. Oh, more stuff. The bottom. Must be what they're called. Oh, just to see. Alright, cultists. Alright, so there's cards for these the baddies when you're fighting them. That's got their health, rewards for beating them, and. Uh, what they can do to you and all that. Right. So it's going to be a, a pain finding a storage for everything, really. So I'm hoping someone comes out with a solution soon. Even just storing the miniatures is going to be a bit of a job. But it said in the rule book you can uh, just shuffle the cards in at the start of a game. And there's also some there, uh, some rule about. You know, adding too many or something, but I'd prefer just to have it all in, just so don't have to worry about taking it taking it out half the time. So this one is the Abyssal Tides. Let's see what it says. This one introduces mercenaries, quartermasters, Herald of Agony, Writhing Myriad, Sea of an Expedition, Denizens. Or Denizen cards. Bigger game than uh, I was thinking. That's still good though. Man. Value for money. I can't remember how much they spent on this. It's been so long though. I didn't say it was worth it. They're pretty grim looking. Right. Oh, yeah. This was a cool looking model. Be the female one. 
Nice sculpted bases on each one, which is good. Yeah, you wouldn't expect uh, some of this amount of detail to uh, some come out well with uh, just the PVC. I guess it's getting uh, the technology's getting improving all the time. And casting quality. You know the money dropped on the base and all the the wood grain and the nails. Definitely the best quality miniatures I've gotten in this this style from a Kickstarter before. It's like a massive stone scythe or something. There's a tiny bit of uh, flash on that one there. But not really that much. And it's got a pipe there as well. So there might be a tiny bit of cleanup required on some of these, but uh, not much really. You'd even just give these a really quick dry brushing or something just to emulate the grim wash, and it would still look good. I just went for the unpainted one because I'm planning on painting it myself over the next couple of years probably. I'm just going to open these ones, just have a quick look inside one pack at least. They're not going to mean anything to me just now. But. Story cards. Definitely a lot of uh, choices and options. So it should be should be a game with a lot of replay value then, I guess. Um, it'll always always be different with the different expansions and the story options you come across and that's not going back in as nicely. Definitely want to get sleeves for this though. Well the cards are a nice quality, even these boxes are nice, they've got like that linen kind of weird linen finish on them. Right, this torrent of rebellion. What's this one included? Boatswains, Occultists, more of the same cards, crew boards, shellback miniatures. I guess that's the player miniatures. More things falling out the bottom of this one. What was this? Troublesome table. Oh, what's this? You've got my orders, they uh, don't always hang around. I don't need to be packaged in a single piece of plastic, but whatever. Not the same size, oh no, it's a different size card as well, so that would need its own sleeve. I'm sure that hopefully there's cards that size in the main game as well, or the core game. Like a bunch of um, character cards or character sheets. I guess there's art, you can just use the art on them for uh, ideas on how to paint them. This guy looks pretty cool. Don't know what he's carrying, but it's nice detail though. Very sharp. Oh, is this some sort of lanterns or. I don't know. Oh, it's not bent, but oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure I can just heat that up and uh, get it back into place. That's the first bent piece I've found. I don't even know if that would, might would kind of go straight. They should just, they should have actually just moulded that to the hat, so it wouldn't have any chance of bending. Since the only way it's straight is when it's touching the hat, anyway. Oh, that's cool. Big hook. A wee pipe. Very fine detail. Obviously not as good as a resin, but it's like a springy plastic as well, so it's not going to get damaged easily. Oh, there's a bent piece. Oh, well, that doesn't matter really. It doesn't really bother me. And then these are the same. These are the same. This one's different. What's this? Some sort of. 
champion, champion guy or something. Nice. And then the same again with the cars. Enthusiastic student. Alright, this is the last one in this size of box. Under 12 Madness. I know one of them came free with the... They threw in one for free for everyone as well, I think. I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, you get a lot of content for, for your pledge. Alright, so this one comes with the Academics, Merchants, Acolyte Speakers, Acolyte Blood Layer, and more of the same cards. Oh yeah, this, these Merchant models were... Uh, these look cool as well. Looks pretty similar to like some Kingdom Death type of type of style. It looks like the Scouts or something. This must be an academic then. That's their book. Oh, another merchant. They're very cool models. Another academic examining a rock. Oh, they managed to uh, get some really good details out of these. They've pushed it. I don't know if this is standard for uh, Kickstarters these days, really. I don't really back many. Especially the ones that are this miniature heavy. We should try and go for a small, nice self contained box size Kickstarter. Spire's End was a recent one, that's looking good. Alright, these are all tri triples of them. And then some more of them cards. Alright, so that was the five of them boxes done. Two, three, four, five. And these uh, small boxes. And then the final one was this one. I was just adding them slowly. Uh, one at a time. I wasn't planning on going all in on the Kickstarter, but then when the pledge manager came out and uh, it's too easy to do just upgrading and just to go all in. So yeah, these boxes are just going to get destroyed just from, just from being uh, handled all the time. They're they're definitely going to fall apart. This is the Undergod, so this is like the like the true final boss. So you can just replace the avatar with this guy. And let me fight this instead. It's a cool, cool model. It's pretty well. This guy's pretty small. Yeah, he looks chunky because of the the throne. Yeah, you can see it's a bit, a bit uh, oily, so I definitely need a bit of a, a scrub. Some hop soapy water before you paint it. A little shipwrecks on the base. So I'll look. This type of thing where you can you can either be a, a like a, a a real basic painter, or you can be a professional, and it would probably still turn out looking good. But yeah, this is a, definitely a multi multi part that we've. Assembled, but it still looks like it'll be easy to paint, nothing's obscured really. And then just comes with a few extra or a few new scenarios like objectives um, to, to win the game or to lose. Just three though. So it's not just one, one ending really that you are working towards. You can have uh, several different endings, so definitely a lot of replay value. And it does look like it would take a, a like a long time to even get to the final boss. I'm not sure if it's like a, a one day game or a, a weekend type of thing. Right, so that's pretty much everything. That's 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 everything. Under God, Under Two of Madness, Abyssal Tides. Torrent of Rebellion, Twilight Flood, 
see you figure. Random extra dice. Neil Pre Matt. Four shipboards. And then the core game as well. Which is huge. Monstrous. That'll keep me going until Kingdom Death starts delivering a few more things. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the the quality of everything, it's all turned out really well. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Uh, it, it, it appealed to me as well, like the, the, the ship models. I uh, quite enjoyed Man of War back in the day. I never managed to pick up Dreadfleet. That was one of the main appeals to this, and also like the, like the Lovecraftian aesthetic as well. So it sounds like, it looks like it's going to be a really, really good game. Looking forward to giving it a shot. Alright, so I think that's I think that should be everything actually. So please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.